<laughs> Please. <laughs> Did you see Iron Man 2? They were like jockeying. Hey, you got to see it. Is it good? Robert Downer Jr. is hot. You got to go see it and stuff. My Are wife. you guys playing California Girls all the way out here in Atlanta? Check it out. Yeah, man, I got you ready to go. Right. Remix. Yeah, we are playing it. People love it everywhere. Thanks. Dude, do you That's call, me. Do you um end up like calling Snoop? Snoop, or does, get dizzle? Or is it your people calling Snoop's people? Or do you make that connection yourself? I just sent him a bag. <laughs> Must have been no. really good stuff. No, you know, you know, it's, you, you know, it's funny. Um, I've been telling this story, but it's it's totally true. Uh, when, before he came in to be on the record, I had kind of dropped his hints of him wanting to be on the record. Like I wanted him on the record. I dropped, you know, sipping gin and juice, laying underneath the palm trees, and then. I, it's hard for me to hear myself and hear myself. The tripping you are right now? I feel like I'm in a bad episode of Lost. It's hard. You want me to turn you yeah, off? Yeah, turn it. Turn me off. Okay. Thanks. I know you, you'll you play it again sometime soon. Um, <laughs> but I was going to say that uh, he he came in and he did his thing and he has these, he has these one-liners because he talks in rhyme. He's like Snoop Dogg. And he said, mm-hmm. it's official like a rest whistle. <laughs> and I was stuck on my hookah because I, I swear by my hookah uh-huh. and he was stuck on his thing and I swore to myself if I took that hookah pipe which is just apple tobacco right if I took that thing out of my mouth I would die because if it still gets him to that level yeah I would be like balloon boy <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you I would be in like a whole another world I was like I'm not even going I'm opening the windows <laughs> the whole bit. And we just filmed the music video, which was really fun. Was it? Yeah. It was, it's like a bad case of the munchies. <laughs> Everything is edible. I'll say that. You like mm-hmm. edible things, though. You're I often, know. You're often paired with be fruit. As, I'm going to be as big as a house, like, at the end of my career. First it was fruit, and now it's like... we. Uh, we call the music video California, like California, mm-hmm. but with mm-hmm. candy. So first record, it was fruit. This record, it's like candy and baked goods. Next, <laughs> next record, it'll be like meat. Cheeseburgers. <laughs> Burgers with smiley faces on them. <laughs> I'll have a huge following in Japan. <laughs> it's uh, Katy Perry hanging out on the Burt Show this morning. All right, we got to talk about the whole Maxim Magazine thing. Yeah, yeah, that was some BS. Number one. Not hot BS. Hot Not hot BS hot at all. Hot no. hot, hot. I think you've got this ability to be like what guys want and all girls want to be your best friend. Like, how do you pair um, the two? You sound like a stalker. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> no, um, I I think I've been telling people that it sounds like a practical joke. And also, maybe it's like an early April Fool's joke from 2011. Why, do you not yeah. think you're pretty? Listen, there is a line in Mean Girls, if you've ever seen it, which is one of the best movies ever created. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> that one girl says, oh, you look pretty today. And she goes, oh, thank you. And then she retorts with, Oh, so you think you're pretty. So I'm not going to answer that question. Because I feel like you'll retort with that, and then everybody will think I'm totally full of myself. Do you think you're ugly? No. (laughs) Great, Bert. Make her cry. So when they approach you... (laughs) So when they approach you saying, hey, you're number one on Maxim Magazine's hot list, what'd you think? Well, I cried. Russell and I cried ourselves to sleep. (laughs) We were just like, oh, we can't take it. No. (laughs) Stupid. Is that um, like a bragging right in your house? No. I mean, I thought it was I thought it was interesting. It was nice that they picked a curveball because it's like, how oh. many more boobs and butts can you stare at before being like, Ugh. I don't know. Do I, is that a Maybe I have question? a brain. Maybe and, and a great body. we got to have all the three <laughs> Bs, right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Boobs, butts, brains. Let's go through some of these women on the list, and you, you give me your first impressions okay. of them. Okay. All right. Uh, you beat out Megan Fox. Hot. Crazy. You know what, though? I think she's almost a cliche now. She's no. so hot, she's almost a cliche. Well, I mean, she's still, you would you would still do her, Bert. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd be done before the lights, w- before it was dark in the room. You can't even <laughs> talk right now. <laughs> uh, Rihanna. You beat out Rihanna. Well, I mean, I think she's amazing. She's like one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. So I think we get each other and she'll let me have that spot for a second. Is she really planning your bachelorette party? I hope so. <laughs> she said that on the radio and I didn't know that that was true. And if you're listening, Rihanna, please be the stripper at my bachelorette party. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kim Kardashian is on that list too. She's hot. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, 
She's hot. She's way hot. She's way hot. Is she hotter than Megan Fox? I mean, I can't pair these girls up against each other. There's going to be a full-out cat fight. Well, you could take most of these women. You would definitely knock out Megan Fox. I mean, I don't know about that, but thanks. I'm just going to... Take, I'm going to stop taking all the compliments now. Yeah, you're not. Are you not a good compliment taker? I don't know. It's like being number one at being hot is a lot to live up to. I'm going to shave my head next year. <laughs> totally I can't the handle the it. pressure. <laughs> Beating up your car with an umbrella. <laughs> That's like the most classic photo I've ever seen in my entire life of just like a beautiful Hollywood. Yeah. And welcome to Hollywood. <laughs> wow. Don't you want to be famous too? <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get nervous? We were talking about this about uh, John Mayer a couple of months ago, that his celebrity and his personality are so big that sometimes it overshadows his music. Like you have Most a pretty big time. personality. Do you ever get nervous that, that the celebrity will be bigger than the music? Well, I think it's kind of a good balance right now. Um, I am still stepping into the belly of the beast by marrying one of the most ridiculous men <laughs> ever um and having kind of like now now we're a duo of of energy i guess you would say um but i'm happy i'm very happy to be de- doing so um it's just that like i think that there's a good balance i think that as much as people are interested like even in this conversation we've covered all bases but we're still talking about the music and mm-hmm. talking about the song and the creation and you know the video so i think it's it's a good thing i'm not on the cover of us magazine yet which i am totally fine with mm-hmm. so but you yeah. are on delta Yes, I was telling. You. I was flying. I was flying Delta. <laughs> Thank you, by the way. I was telling. I was flying <laughs> Delta. And I've been on other covers, and one day I'll get my Rolling Stone cover too. But my boyfriend is on the cover of Rolling Stone, and I and it was the first day out a couple of days ago, and I was at the airport coming here to Atlanta, and I picked it up and I sent him a picture on my BlackBerry. And then I sent him a picture because I was on the front cover of Delta just randomly. <laughs> great. I mean, I love that girl that does that voice. She's crazy. She does Smoking. cheat a little too high. Huh? Yeah. It's not allowed. Smoking is not allowed. We know that. Um, and so <laughs> he was on that. And I I sent him a picture of my cover of Delta. And I said, listen, buddy. I know you're a little bit jealous, but I think your day will come one day soon where you too can be on the cover of Delta Sky, the way we fly. If, who would, um, you know, we always, it, it seems to us that in celebrity couples, like the marriage is cool so long as both of the celebrities are doing well and successful. Like, who I haven't, I haven't really. It, been through this before or experienced this so i don't know what were you gonna say who who would have the tougher time losing their success you or him well and that's a good question well thank you that's what i call i'll give you a good answer (laughs) i think um you know for me like we both have a balance he wants to do other things he doesn't want to just be in films until you know the last moment of his life and for me, I, I want to accomplish lots of other things. And I, I mean, as much as like I am working hard every single day for this record, like I'm not going to lie and say that like I don't want to have children like, you know, some people would die on the stage and I don't want to die on the stage. Mm-hmm, no, I just want to have fun on the stage. You know what I'm saying? So I think that there will be certain times in our life where we'll take it at different paces and we're pretty level headed and we're both extreme and level headed people. It's a weird, weird concoction. It just works. Do you guys want children? You both want kids? I think that's what marriage is about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess. I mean, to me, like, that's the reason why you kind of connect. That's one of the main reasons for me. Do you mm-hmm. think that you, do, would you strive to be a mother like your mom was, or will you try to avoid being the kind of mom your mom was? No matter how far you run, we all know that you turn into your parents. So yeah. true. <laughs> it's true. I mean, so true, man. It just happens. Like it's like one of those like spooky movies where you turn around like ah, ah you're there. <laughs> <laughs> I just flew all the way across the United States and you're still there, <laughs> following me on Twitter. 